this on this plan you can see we have a cantilever we have cantilevers almost all around this building plan so to insert the cantilever and the cantilever um length is 600 i think they are all they are all uniform so to insert the cantilever slab or to create a cantilever slab in total structure what we have to do is to first offset the grid line because our cantilever length from the face of the wall down to the face of the cantilever is 600 so we have to offset the grid line we have to offset this grid line we we'll offset this grid line 600 but now we, we don't forget the cantilever length of 600 starts from the face of the wall so if we are going to offset we will have to add the this the distance between the center of this beam to the edge of the beam plus the cantilever length of 600 so our beam width is 225 by 2, is 225 so we will say 225 we will quickly say 225 so we will quickly do 225 divided by 2 so 225 divided by 2 we have 112.5 so from the center of this beam to the edge of the beam is 112.5 millimeter length which is 600 so plus 600 600 we have 712 so approximately we have 713 millimeter so we will have to offset right now 713 millimeter so we will click and offset this grid 713 millimeter and to offset in total structure you hold f2 key f2 then type your length so i'll quickly press key f2 and type 713 and i'll say enter okay now we have offset this the same thing goes to this since the cantilevers they are all uniform so the same thing applies to all areas that will have cantilever so i'll quickly do the offset we have the cantilever at this back as you can see here we have it at this back we have it on this area also we have it almost at every face we have them so we'll offset this again I will press my F, F2 key, F2 key, F2, and um, 713. We are going left. So since we are offsetting on the left, on the left hand side of the screen, when you Press your F2 key, you have to put minus 171713, sorry, then we'll press enter. The same thing happens when you're going down. We do we have a cantilever at this area? Let me see. Yes, we also have a cantilever at this area. So the same, we offset this. Yes. one three enter then we also have a cantilever at the at this face yes yes we have a cantilever at this face on the balcony on the veranda area so we we'll also offset this we are going down we also use minus so you press f2 key minus seven one three enter we don't have a cantilever on, on this small face. I don't think we have that. Let me see. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't have that. 
So when we have cantilever at this longer face, so we have a cantilever at this face, so we will offset this using our F2 key, 713, enter. So now we have finished offsetting our cantilever length. The next thing now is to insert the cantilever slab. So we'll do that by clicking on slab and then choosing our slab thickness, the same thing, 150 millimeter, cover 25 millimeter, load the same, everything happens the same. But now the difference here is that we'll have to now click on the type of width symbolizes cantilever. So in product structure type 12 is for cantilever slab. So click on 12 and then let's begin with um, this face. To insert a cantilever slab, you go anti-clockwise and not clockwise. So if I click here to here, I'm going anti-clockwise. What happens is that the slab will come in on this area, on this region will come down but now we want our our slab to come out which is on this region so i'll have to click okay we will have to input our cantilever length so 600 and then i will click anti-clockwise sorry anti-clockwise this to this okay we have that right now this to this we have that right now this to this we have that and then okay we notice that um, we have not put our cantilever load so I'll quickly edit all of the cantilevers our cantilever load, which is the load on the edge of this cantilever, is um, 9.81 kN. So I'll quickly say update. And you can see the symbol of our load. So I'll just do that for all. Right click, properties, go to load, apply my cantilever load 9.81 updates i'll go again by right click properties load 9.81 okay so the same we do not continue we click and click when you're inserting your cantilever you want you have, you have to insert cantilever column to column and not column to another column you have to do column to column if you have up to three columns you have to do it between each columns so click here click automatically it has formed the shape that we have here we have a we have, we have this kind of shape here so we go back again we go again click outside then um, we don't have let me see we have a cantilever on this face on this face on this area so we also go and say okay we have to do this first this this 600 this this 600 this to this 600 and this to this by 600 let's see again what we have again okay so we now have this shape of this cantilever on this area as you can see here we have our cantilever right now the shape with our cantilever loads already inputted which is 9.81 kN then we have to move over to this side to create cantilever on this side. Let's see how the cantilever on this side runs. Cantilever on this side does not run all the way down. It started from 
the staircase region here. That's where I started from. The staircase region here. It started from here. You can see the cantilever. It started from here. So we will start from the can the staircase region all the way down. So we move right now back to portal structure and our cantilever started from this area. So we we'll move from here to here, 600. From here to here, 600. Okay, all the way down this side. So we again from here to here, 600. Then where again do we have? We can see that we have now established this can this cantilever. You can see the shape here. You can see the shape right here. We have it right here. So we go again. We have a cantilever on this veranda area, 600. So we go. The area we have the cantilever is just on this area. So we say this to this all the way down. So this is how we insert our cantilever. So let's just take a 3D view of how this looks. So to click a 3D view, you go to the story and right click and say and click on 3D view. So we wait for it to load. Now you can see our cantilever and then our load on top. This is how we create cantilever slab in portal structure. You can see the staircase hall, the staircase area. So this is how we create cantilever slab on portal structure. Back to plan view. Okay, 